to an event with 10,000 people and managed a 12 hour day of meeting with new people and being really excited all the time. <laughs> to everybody, real happy and excited. I might have, have an IV of caffeine, don't tell my husband, but <laughs> I still haven't slept, but you know, <laughs> we're okay. Feed yourself really good things. Um, and then rest. Does anybody get jam brain where you just like, go, 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 yeah. go, go, go. Where you work your business and you're up at night and you're thinking about it, you're up on your computer. Yeah. This was our first year probably. <laughs> And nobody told us that rest is as important as work. <laughs> if you're intentional about both, that's right. you've got to be intentional about both. So <laughs> we were kind of crazy people by the end of the first year. Like we were working stupid hours, hours that you don't need to work to be successful. We just thought that we couldn't be the people who also rested, that that wasn't allowed for us. Mm -hmm. You are not the exception. You are not the exception. Who's familiar with bodybuilding? Nobody. Couple. There's a couple. So, bodybuilders, I always thought, just lifted a ton of weight and ate like a large horse. Right? <laughs> they don't. It, it is not just about how much weight they lift. They have to lift in very specific angles. One tiny tweak, this is very applicable to your business if you can make the jump. One tiny tweak in how they lift a certain weight changes completely the muscle that is affected by that process. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you're running your parties and it's not working, a tiny little tweak in how you're doing what you're doing can make all the difference in the world. For a bodybuilder, a tiny little tweak makes all the difference. So it's what they lift and how they lift it, and then it's not only what they eat, but when they eat it. Mm -hmm. Both of those are important. It's very, very important to them. They can't allow Mike and Ike's, who have Mike and Ike's in the back, I saw them. They can't allow Mike and Ike's into their body because it derails them from where they're going. Don't allow things into you, negative thought patterns, to derail yourself from where you're going. They also, and this blew my mind, my husband decided he wanted to be a bodybuilder, which was just fine with me. That was fine. I was totally okay with that. He's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> you can find him on Facebook. He's very funny. But he decided he wanted to be a bodybuilder. And the biggest thing that I found out, these guys sleep like 14 hours a day. What? It's like the next best thing to being a toddler. <laughs> I want to be a team manager. Yeah. I would love to know who in here has it as a goal. Team manager? Woo. Anything higher than team manager? Executive? Woo. High ranks of executive? Fantastic. If you don't have that as your goal, that is okay. This is still applicable to you. We've coached about 85 team managers and above under me and our team growing into leadership. And one of the biggest things that I see is they think that I can't rest. I can't stop doing January for 24 hours, I can't put my business down because then it will stop. And the opposite is true. The opposite is true if you are intentional about your time. If you're not intentional about how you're working your business, if you put it down and you don't pick it up for two weeks, baby, you do not have a business anymore. Yeah. It's gone. If you take a Christmas break that lasts a month, you are gonna be spending your time until April to get back where you were at the beginning of December. Very true. I yes. promise you, and I've seen it happen, and I've had very sweet girls tell me, no, 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 mine will be fine. That may have happened to other people, but not to me. My business will be fine. No, if you set it down for all of December, you are going to be catching up until April to get back to where you were. It's not difficult, if you're intentional about your time, to touch your business every day. And if you're touching your business every day on purpose, with a specific goal in mind, doing IGA, <laughs> oh my gosh, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, you will get where you wanna go. You will get there faster than you think that you will. Mm -hmm. So intention is your key. Where am I on time? How are we doing? Good. You're great. I don't wanna talk all night, no, you're but good. you're very <laughs> close. Okay, yeah, you're good. All right. Um, the other thing is to get rid of fear. Who has been afraid of something related to jamboree? No. 
who would admit, and be honest now, that something that you were afraid of connected to Jamboree held you back from doing something that would benefit your business? I had. I had a couple girls who were on what I call my chicken list, which are like the most amazing people. If you could pick the, your favorite people to work with who have all of the business sense in the world, who know how to manage their time, who have that it thing, you just know you have those people. I had like six of them. And I kept going, I'll talk to them next week. I'm really kind of nervous, and maybe they'll think that I'm just this stay-at-home mom, and maybe they're not going to take me seriously, and, and maybe they won't sign up with me. And guess what? They signed up with other people mm -hmm. because they thought January was amazing, and I never talked to them. If you've got a chicken list, talk to the people on your chicken list. They know a good business opportunity when they see it, and for a lot of people, they're waiting for somebody to show it to them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do not let fear hold you back. Fear is fake. And fear is the root of so many things that hold you back. Okay, a lot of times, fear doesn't look like fear. Sometimes fear looks like apathy, which is, oh, it is what it is. It'll be what it'll be. We'll see. We'll see what Danbury does for me. I don't know. Usually the root of that is something that you're a little bit afraid of. That maybe if I give this everything that I've got, and I don't accomplish what I want to accomplish, maybe that means that I don't have what it takes. Maybe that means that I'm not good enough, that I don't have what they have. And nothing could be further from the truth. That is a fear that is attacking your life that you need to silence and tell it to sit down. That is not true. If you give this everything that you have, you will get where you want to go. You just may have to give it everything that you have for a little bit longer than somebody else that you're watching. You can't compare yourself with other people. I have com compared myself with ladies who've been here twice as long as I have and have really ran myself into the ground going, oh my gosh, her follow-up system. Oh my gosh, her customer connection. Oh my gosh, how she talks to people. She has something I don't have. I'm never going to get there. I should just, I mean, like, this isn't even worth it for me to keep going. I have talked to myself onto a ledge and nearly jumped off it a bunch of times over something that's just in my mind. Just fake. It's just fake. So fear can look like apathy. Fear can also look like um, avoidance, where you kind of have something that you know you're supposed to do right here, and you, you kind of circle it. I should call my hostess. I should call her. I should call her tomorrow. I should do, I should do that thing. Another time, I'm going to pretend like that's not here, actually. Maybe I can go do something else. Avoidance is fear. It's fear, and you've got to confront it, and you've got to make a different decision, and you've got to call that hostess. That is how you deal with fear, is you take action against it. Um, it also looks like procrastination and putting things off for a really long time. I did an event right when I first started at our chiropractor's office, and it was a great event. I had like 10 leads that had written on their lead sheet, you know those lead sheets where they write their information? Like 10 people said they were interested in a party. And I've only done a couple parties. And I was real scared that they would want me to answer questions that I didn't know the answer to, or that they would want a style of party that I'd never done, because I'd only done like one style up until that point, and I've never called them. Hmm. 10 people, y'all, I'm showing you like my, my slip here. <laughs> <laughs> I have 10 people who asked me for a party, and I never called them back, because I was afraid that I wouldn't know how to do my job. You know what? You know what I could have said if they'd asked me a question that I didn't know the answer to? Hey, you know, I don't know, but I'm gonna find out and call you back. Yeah. Absolutely, you want a three-day party? I've only done 10-day parties, but absolutely, we'll figure it out. Sometimes you gotta pull yourself up by your bootstraps and figure it out. And you gotta tell yourself that you're capable of that so that you can actually do it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. You gotta ask yourself sometimes, and you know the one thing that's holding you back, sometimes you've got to ask yourself, what is behind this? What is actually behind this thing that's in my way? What is that? Because I need to know what that is so I can get around this. Don't let this stuff hold you back. I've got a couple thousand people on my team and we're doing group coaching calls. And it's really fun, but the amazing thing is that usually what one person is struggling with, everybody is struggling with. 
one person is struggling with getting into their cold market. And all of a sudden, everybody is struggling with getting into their cold market. And as soon as one person says, hey, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm breaking out of this, and I'm going to figure it out, all of a sudden, everybody else goes, hey, me too. Let's brainstorm. Let's figure this out. Sometimes you've got to find the people on your team or in your upline or in your local area who are breaking out of the same things that have held them back. And you got to break through together. Sometimes you've got to have that breakthrough by linking arms with somebody else to get over that barrier. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're in a really, really good place in, in terms of, well, location and the internet is just amazing. It's amazing. You can connect with so many Jam Sisters all over the country. If you are struggling with something, you can find other people who are dealing with the same thing and pushing through. So I would encourage you, if you're wanting to find somebody that you can link arms with, not to look for someone who necessarily is in the same place as you, but look for someone who has broken through that. Find someone, ask questions on the Jamboree Nails Consultant page on your team page. Who has successfully broken out of your cold market by using vendor events? Who's done that? Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of questions that actually get you connected with people who have already done it, which kind of gives you a, a shortcut because you can learn what they've already done rather than trying to figure it out on your own. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Sounds good. Um, there's no overnight success. This isn't a microwave. A lot of times, if you go to JamCon, JamCon doors, yes? Okay. You see those ladies walking across the stage, right? Yeah. And you go, oh, I never heard of her last year. She must have just joined and just exploded. Some people will just do that. No. There are no overnight successes. It's not a microwave. Everybody that you see who has been successful has confronted the same things that are confronting you, the same struggles, the same victories, and they've pushed through for long enough that they've gotten to that stage. So if the stage is your goal, if your why is your goal, understand that you are going to confront those same things and you can do it. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing that I have that you don't have. You have everything that it takes to be an elite executive, everything. That's right. There's nothing more that you need to get where you wanna go. It's in you. It's in you. I'm seeing some of your eyes going, yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to believe it right now. But I know that it's in you. One of the things that I love so much about this company is the diversity of the ladies who have accomplished that top level. You've got everything from our gorgeous friend Rachel, who is tatted up. She's a roller derby rock star. She's ridiculous. I love her. <laughs> All the way from there to like your, your little Baptist girl from the South, with her little curl hair <laughs> and our pants. <laughs> You've got, you have a really, really wide variety of styles and ages and backgrounds and family life and all of these different things. There is no mold. There is no mold that you have to fit into. You are your mold. You have what it takes. Jamboree is a perfect fit for you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. <laughs> I just really want to encourage you guys that it's worth it. Mm -hmm. It really is worth it fighting for your why. And I don't care. There, there's not a gradient scale of importance here. If your why is getting you out of the house because you're about to lose your mind, that is as important as it was for me to bring my husband home from his lawn care position. There's not a gradient scale of more important or less important. To you, your why is the most important, and your why is worth fighting for. It is mm -hmm. worth fighting for. And when you get that accomplished, and you see that thing happen, close your eyes for just one second. Let's do this. Close your eyes. And I want you to imagine for one second that whatever your why is, you have accomplished it. You've done it. It's done. You did it. It's over. Whether that's the financial debt that you're out of or the home that you've just purchased, 
Maybe you are a stay-at-home mom now and you're not having to go back to work. Let yourself feel what that's like. Imagine, imagine for just a second. Okay, open your eyes. It feels like that. It really does. It's every bit as good, every bit as good as you let yourself imagine that it will be. So fight for it. Fight for yourself. Fight for your family. Fight for your why. It is worth it. Okay? Thanks so much for having us, guys. It is a joy to be with you.